Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Marilyn and my channel's Making with Marilyn. Now quite some time ago, Cinna Small sent me an Afero Laser 1 and this is it right here. It's a small compact laser and it just has a T-square for a frame. Now it's a fairly small laser. It doesn't do a huge surface, but it is definitely large enough to do things like tumblers and smaller wood projects. Well, more recently, Cinesmall sent me the Affero Laser 2, and they have a new laser head that they asked me to try out. Now, the only things I've done with this so far, I've played with some wood cuts, some wood engraving, very, very little, but I was really excited to engrave a tumbler. And so on today's video, I'm gonna show you that. It's a very short video. Once I get more comfortable with this, I'll make some longer ones. Now basically, and you'll see in the video, I just used some pop cans to raise this up. When you do a tumbler, when you do something thick, you have to raise this frame up. And that's the nice part about it is, you can have it lower, you can have it higher, so you can fit just about anything under it. So I used pop cans in the video. Today, my husband came through and he threw together some risers for me, so that's what I have it on now. now when you want to use the rotary attachment, and you probably can't see it, it's right down here in the middle, but when you use this, you have to take a few steps. So on the laser, you have an x-axis, and that's going back and forth, side to side, and then you have a y-axis that moves it front to back. When you're using the rotary attachment, the y-axis needs to be disabled, I couldn't think of the word, and then you plug this into your y-axis. Now on this machine versus the Affero Laser 1, you actually have two y-axis motors, and so you have to disable both of those, and then you plug your rotary into one of those. Now my tumbler turned out great, but I'm gonna have to work on the settings because this took over an hour, and when I did my first water bottle, this only took, I think it was a little, I think it was a little bit less than eight minutes. And so I'll just have to figure out those and I'll do more videos in the future. But I want you to see how this worked for my first tumbler engrave on the Affero Laser 2. So at this point, I have my design uploaded into the software and I've decided on my settings. I'm using Lightburn, but there is a free version of software that you can use if you use a PC. Then what you see here is I'm just framing my design. What that means is you're having the laser head go around where your design's going to be to see if your tumbler's in the right place. So I make a little bit of adjustment to it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and set the laser head down where it needs to be. And so you get this little card, that's your spacer. Now I fumbled around with this for a little while. I didn't do a very smooth job, but in the end, I eventually got it to where I thought it needed to be. The first time I did it, I think it was just too tight down on the card. The second time, it was a little bit loose, you can tell right there. And then finally, I got it just right. Then I wanted to go ahead and frame it at least one more time to see if it really was ready to go. When I decided it was, I went ahead and fired it up. And you're seeing this in real time, just for a little bit. Here in a minute, I'm gonna speed it way up because like I said earlier, this took over an hour to do. Now you see some black soot there. That will come off after this is done. You just have to take it, use kind of a rough rag or something, some dish soap or some awesome, and it cleans right off. So I'm just gonna let this run, let you see how it ends up. I love how it turned out, but like I talked about earlier, I'm gonna have to figure out those settings because it is not a very efficient way to spend an hour or over an hour engraving one tumbler.
So I'm going to go clean it off and I'll be right back. So here's the final product. The engrave is beautiful. It is really beautiful. And the amount of detail that you see in this, you can really tell it when you see those lips and you see all the little creases in the lips. But the amount of detail is phenomenal. So I'll keep working on the settings. I'll do another video. And until then, bye-bye.